Good morning. Are you anxious? Some, some people are, some people aren't. But we probably all know someone for whom anxiety is, is a problem. Um, in um, parts of Ukraine, uh, 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 Christians find themselves in a very anxious situation. Um, so that's a, a photograph from Release International, I think taken quite early on in the war, of people sheltering in, in a basement. Um, and uh, they look anxious, I think, apart from one of them who's got the internet. She's, she's probably the least anxious, or maybe the most anxious, but because she's got the internet. But um, it, 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 Christians in, in, in the, the, the occupied areas um, are often um, arrested and accused of being Nazis, of being spies, of being Americans, or of being evangelicals. Um, particularly evangelical Christians are, are, are targeted, uh, sometimes tortured, sometimes disappeared, sometimes mutilated uh, bodies are found. Um, and you can just imagine if you were in one of those occupied towns like, like Mariupol and, and, and your pastor is on a hit list of uh, Christian leaders. Certainly that, that, that's um, an anxious situation and we need to remember them. Um, but also in, in, on that front line, here's stories of, of uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ being accepted, the hope that's in the gospel and people responding to that. Anxiety. A lot of people suffer from anxiety at some point in their lives. Sometimes it, it, it's quite small. Sometimes it, it's a lot. Yeah, and there can be a huge range of causes of that, which I, I'm not going to go into. It could just be a bit, a bit of worry, or it could be something that's completely debilitating. I'm not a, an anxious person myself. At least I didn't think I was until I started preparing this. And I, th I thought, oh. That's me there, that's me there. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm, I'm certainly not an expert at it, and I have little understanding of it, which is why I, I thought, actually, I've got to find out about it. I've got to uh, get my head around this one. Um, and I'm not medical, I'm not an advisor, I'm just exploring this, and it's a complex subject, so um, I'm, I'm, just, uh, I'm just skirting over it, really. Some of the symptoms of it are, are worry or, or nervousness, being on edge, being tense, maybe, maybe, maybe physical things in your stomach, um, or it might just be totally overwhelming for some people. It may be a particular issue, or, or, or it might just be a whole part of your life. And anxiety breeds more anxiety, and it, and it builds, builds a pattern. Sometimes, um, it, it's things that are not even rational. Um, we might say, oh, something terrible must have happened to him. He's five minutes late. Or, or, or she must have been caught up in an accident. Or because of this thing, then that will happen. Or I should really have done this. Or I've messed up. I've messed up and I'll never be able to do this. Sometimes it's helpful just to be able to um, stand back and, and examine uh, actual, actual facts over our feelings. Was it really that dangerous to go to Leicester? You know? or, or to spot patterns of, of, of our thinking? Yes, it's every time this happens, I get this, this, this happens, yeah? And maybe it's help, helpful to ask someone else's opinion or we could try looking at things differently. So the Apostle Paul, in his, his letter to the church in Philippi, which is in, in, in Greece, was talking to people who were under pressure. They were free to worship whatever God they wanted, as long as they also worshipped the emperor. 
But as Christians, they were taught to worship the one true and living God, and that led them into some sort of conflict. So they had re good reason to be anxious. So how, how does the Apostle Paul handle this? Does he gently handhold them through their, every little aspect of their anxiety just to, just to help them step through it? No. He's like a bull in a china shop. He confronts it head on in typical Paul fashion. Yeah, He says, do not be anxious about anything. Um, and we say, yeah, but hang on a minute. And he says, but as well, he says, do not be anxious about anything, but... Uh -huh. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. So Paul tells us to pray, to stop, to be quiet, to take a step back, and to pray, to petition, to ask God, yeah, to, 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 um, and to be thankful as well, yeah, to turn around from, how do I cope with this? to um, saying, saying thank you God, to turn from looking at me and my problem to looking at God. Now, we're very familiar with, with this verse, but to some people it might seem rather trite. Uh, you say, well, that's easy to say, but that, 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 that takes a bit of effort, doesn't it? What happens if I'm gripped by fears or gripped by something? Yeah. What can I be thankful for, you might say? Be thankful that God knows, that God cares, that God listens. Yeah? Do we believe that? Yeah. But then Paul goes and turns it on its head even more, because the verse before this says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again. Rejoice. And you can say, how can I rejoice when I'm in the middle of a crisis? But we submit ourselves to God in prayer. We take a conscious step back, a step down, away from what's bothering me. Maybe we, we will pick, pick up a glimpse, a glimpse of the glory of God. Yeah. Rejoicing. Singing heartily, as we do with other Christian believers can lift the spirit, yeah? And if we choose to, we, we, we can concentrate on praising him. Instead of our, allowing our minds to go over and over and over the same problem, I learn that and I forget it, and I learn it and I forget it, yeah? But rejoicing is the opposite of anxiety. It's almost like the antidote, yeah? It ought to be on prescription. You know, the doctor says, oh, go and join, join those Christians and get, and get, and get singing. Yeah, Chris McDool used to lead worship for us before he moved away. He said, stand up, breathe in, sing. It's good for your body and it's good for your soul. So the scripture tells us to rejoice and then it says, let your gentleness be evident to everyone. The Lord is near, yeah? He's speaking peace into the situation. So it's rejoice, be gentle, and, and know that the Lord is near. Yeah, allow his spirit to work deep within us when we t take time just to wait and to rest and to hope in him. So just to recap where we've got to on that scripture. Rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. I wonder, do you have a rejoicing song in your head for when you need to switch your focus to... Um, away from, from yourself and your position. Um, 
away to him. Or maybe you carry a key scripture in your head for those anxious moments. Yeah? Here's a couple. You, you, you might choose one of these. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing from Psalm 23. Cast all your anxiety on him, for he cares about you. Those who hope in the Lord shall renew their strength. Or maybe pick a line from today's scripture to hold in your head for those times when you, when you need it. And then Philippians, uh, uh, Paul goes on to say, And the peace of God, which goes beyond our understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Are you an anxious person? Then God knows that your heart needs to be guarded. And it's not something that we can overthink. Even, even the Apostle Paul couldn't really get, get his head around this. You know, it goes beyond our understanding, or another, script, uh, another translation says, transcends all understanding. Yeah. And our, our hearts and minds are guarded in Christ Jesus because of him, with him. Christ, the chosen one, Jesus, the Savior. Yeah. Jesus, who opens up the way to God, the God who keeps our, our minds safe and secure. For some believers, they have no, no issue with this at all. And for others, there may be a lifetime of problems. I mean, cry out, why won't this just go away? Yeah, that's, that's not easy. I don't want to introduce guilt to anyone. But have we just tried to look at things differently? Of asking God, of thanksgiving, of rejoicing. And maybe after that, you're still overwhelmed with thoughts of anxiety. But God doesn't give up on you, yeah? Don't give up on him. He still loves you. Now, any idea why I've introduced this one? Hmm? This is a tapestry, isn't it? It's the, 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 the back and the front. The, the back is the messy stuff, yes? That's the, all the knots. That's like our, our life. Um, all the messy stuff in there. And, and, and the front is, is the sorted out view. It's like looking back to say, yes, I can see where God has been at work in my life. You know, I might be, be more conscious of all the messy stuff rather than looking back at the, at the pattern that, that, that's there. Yeah? So... There's the full scripture together. I think it would be good if we just said this together slowly. Ready? Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, Present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which goes beyond our understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Let's finish with a prayer. Father God, you know us. You know us deep within. You know our uh, anxieties, our fears, and our struggles. Thank you that uh, we, we are free to come to you in every situation. We can pray, we can petition you, that you listen, that you know, that you care. Help us to, to let go of, of, of what's holding us back and rejoice to look to you, to submit to you, to glimpse something of your glory, of what you're doing in our lives, of what you can do. We want to be a gentle people who know that you are near, and we want to know your peace. Jesus, will you guard our hearts? Will you guard our minds? Will you keep us secure? 
We trust in you. Thank you. Amen.